We're at ISTE 2012. I'm talking to Kevin Hogan, who is the editorial director yes, editorial of Technology director. and Learning Magazine. And uh, Kevin, can you tell me some of your thoughts? Uh, there's a lot of conversation about BYOD at the event. Yeah, um, I would say maybe the, the technology isn't the most exciting thing uh, this year at ISTE. One of the most exciting things is actually listening to the educators talk about how they're actually starting to use the current technologies that, that are out there. And that's what really makes us excited at the magazine to be able to cover this industry at a time that is truly, truly disrupting. Uh, the, the students have the devices. There's no more conversation about whether or not to have devices in the classroom because they're there and they're using them. Um, what, the, what the exciting thing is is to hear the teachers talk about how they are enabling their students to use other supplemental curriculums, other new websites, other new content that's out there that's the greatest explosion of content since Gutenberg. Mm. And uh, it's, it's, it's a very exciting time. That's great. So it's not so much about whatever new hardware, new uh, programs that are being offered here at ISTE. It's really much more about the teacher conversation. Yes, exactly right. And in the seminars and the, the best practices that the teachers are sharing with each other is really the, the most exciting uh, thing that I've found so far this awesome. week. Awesome. Yeah. Any other conversations that you're picking up on teachers from? Uh, cloud, using the cloud. And the, the web-centric is really something that is... Um, you know, a catchphrase that I've heard over and over again, and, and people not uh, thinking about their classrooms as being these independent remote spaces, but you know, being part of the greater the greater web and the greater uh, community of learners that, that's out there. Great, great, yeah. Kevin. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a great show. Thanks.